All right, Andy and Caleb back with you on Powered by Tesla. We wanted to walk you through some of the new UI that comes in the new S and X. I have a long range S, not the Plaid. I know a lot of you were surprised that they're delivering. So was I, I ordered it in June. Uh, well, actually I ordered one in February, canceled it, ordered again in June. And then my delivery date was supposed to be October, ended up coming much earlier, um, had an update, went and picked it up. 21 inch uh, wheels, uh, midnight silver color, white interior with walnut. Um, I think somebody canceled and I ended up getting getting their order. So wanted to walk you through, Caleb, if you wanna show them. This is the new UI. Um, if you had a previous uh, S, X, very different. Obviously the horizontal screens still have two displays, but this is a brand new UI. So it's been a bit of a, a an adjustment learning how they do everything. I actually really like it and going back to, um, you know, seeing the old UI, I like this one better. Uh, this gets all the fanfare. This is your uh, shifting and I'll show you, you can shift into reverse. You can shift into drive. It's super easy. It really, I thought it was gonna be weird and it really isn't. So, um, and then you can go into park, which is what I'm gonna do now and show you some of the UI. So let's go ahead and walk through this. You can see, you can dismiss. That was home link for our uh, garage door and the seat belt alert, and they come up in the bottom there. You can access uh, the full control menu by sliding off the side. You can also do it by clicking on the car. So uh, you can see all the controls. I'm just gonna walk you through so you can get a visual. Feel free to pause the video and check it all out. This is your basic control area. Um, all your normal uh, functions, including glove box, uh, mirrors, and the camera. There's also a camera button that you can access right down here at any time, but I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, here's your pedals and steering. Like I said, I have a long range S, so chill, sport, and insane mode is a part of it. There is drag strip mode on the long range. And you can launch steering modes. Here's auto shift out of park. Uh, it's gotten a lot of attention. It is super basic. The car just determines if I need to pull straight through a parking spot or back out of it, or I'm parked on the side of the road. It's worked right almost every single time, but it's very obvious when it makes the assumption. You hit the brake and it makes a, a judgment on front or back and it gives you a confirmation. It, it's nothing scary. Uh, all your basic suspension settings as normal inside of here. I'm on auto right now. Charging settings. Autopilot. Uh, autopilot is activated on the new S and X via the scroll wheel. If you want to show them that on the yoke. So it would be one push for me to activate autopilot, which is a little different than the old stocks on the S and X. So I have that set on single click and then you can modify all of your basic autopilot settings here, which you should be familiar with if you've had an SRX, which you can see the new UI. Um, key locks, light settings, display settings, trip menu, navigation settings, safety and sentry mode, cabin overheat protection out here in Arizona, very important, and service menu and software updates. So that's all in this control menu that just slides out, as you can see. And I'll show you some of this. This is your basic map. You can attach, I'm gonna back up a little bit. You can attach this menu. This is the radio right now or the most recent media. You can attach it on both sides. You can shrink it down. Uh, this is new. There's no center attachment, but you can go side to side. Um, so that gives you a picture of that. If I were to hit radio, you would see it comes up in a wider menu with your radio balance settings as such. And this is kind of the mini media menu. And uh, again, that can be shrunk down or moved side to side to get a really nice large map view with all of your normal map settings. Uh, climate control is 
on both sides, so I can activate it here or here, as you can see, either side. There are no vents in the new SNX. All climate is done here. You cannot set it up through the scroll wheel or the yoke. You have obviously the new, this is what they had in the three and the Y, ventless adjustment. As you can see, this is my full um, air conditioning controls are all in here. The new S does have cooled seats, which can be activated right there. And heated seats as well. And a heated yoke. Oh, there it went. Let's pull that back up. Heated yoke. And all your basic dog mode, camp mode are inside of the menu here. And you can control the back. So this would be the back fan, which also will show you the back screen and UI and you can see you can activate the seat heaters for the back. So that is your climate control. And then the last major menu is this kind of uh, customizable bottom menu. So I use Spotify, the phone, this is tune in. But you can drag stuff in and out of here. If I wanted to bring the theater down and add it to my quick apps, if I wanted to take something out, like tune in, Put it back up in there, or I'm sorry, that's not TuneIn, that's the streaming service with Tesla, that's TuneIn. And so those are all of your settings down here, which allow you to quickly call up Spotify or any other of the settings. So that is the new UI as a quick overview. We'll go ahead and show you the mini screen in the back and what Caleb is able to do. Okay, so now we're going to be taking a look at the rear panel screen. Um, so this is going to be, I think this is a 7 inch screen. Um, there's not much to the UI. It's pretty basic. Um, so you have your music right here. You have your um, air temperature right here so you can turn that on and off. You have your volume right here. And right now we're in the music. So um, if you press right here, you can go to the fan. So you can change the fan speed, and you can change where it is. Um, of course, this is using the invisible air thing, like in the Model 3 and Model Y, um, but supposedly better in the Model S. Um, and then if we go to here, we have the um, rear heated seats, so you can turn those on. You can also just press that to turn them all off. Um, and then here is my favorite part, which is the... Um, theater um, tab so you have Netflix, Hulu, Hulu, YouTube, and Twitch. Um, so if I just press Hulu here, um, it's going to log in pretty fast with the new um, computer stuff in here. One thing that is really um, horrible on this, I hope they uh, change it in a software update, is that they have it on like way too high of a resolution so like the buttons are like super small just changing to different stuff um otherwise playback is great um i know you have turned uh there's a mode where you can turn the sound to like only the back and you said that it's pretty quiet in right. the front right yeah yeah um so to get out of here you just swipe down too that's it for the rear um display yep. yep rear display all done check it out and we'll do some more videos later on so for Caleb and Andy, uh, this is powered by Tesla. Like and subscribe. We're going to add a lot more videos in the future. And uh, I think that's it. Bye-bye.